the radar and satellite images showing us overcast skies all across northern Michigan, but I have heard a couple of reports of some patchy freezing drizzle around the area, and that's making some of the roads, especially for those untreated surfaces, a little bit slick. You'll see here that temperatures are below the freezing mark across all of northeast Michigan. It's 30 degrees in Alpena with a current wind chill of 24. Light winds only around 6 miles per hour. 29 degrees in Mayo with a wind chill coming in at 21. 27 degrees in Oscoda with a wind chill of 19 and a light breeze around 7 miles per hour. The observation at Alpena Airport is cloudy skies with a temperature of 30 degrees, a wind chill at 24, light winds out of the southwest. That's helped us to reach the 30 degree mark today because earlier this morning, well before sunrise, we had a low temperature of 2 degrees. So from that point, we have seen our temperatures rise to 30 and the relative humidity is now coming in at 81%. As we go through the next few days, we have a few on and off chances for some flurries or light snow showers. I'll time that out in just a moment. We have two cold fronts that will be moving through the first early on Wednesday, the second early on Friday, and particularly that last cold front is going to open the gates to some much colder air moving in for this weekend. As it seems right now, it looks like we'll see the coldest air that we have seen so far this winter over this upcoming weekend. Uh, first in the series of some snow showers this week is moving through the UP into Lake Michigan, and that's going to continue to drop towards the southeast, producing a chance of some flurries and also that risk of freezing drizzle continuing as we go through the next few hours through this evening. Then back up north of the Canadian border into parts of central Canada, we're seeing another area of some snow developing that's going to form into a cold front and that's going to drop into our area tomorrow evening into early on Wednesday. Temperatures around the Midwest are fairly uniform in most spots ranging from the mid 20s to lower 30s. 25 in Chicago, 30 degrees for us, 30 in Minneapolis. So as we go through tomorrow, we really won't see a whole lot of variation with our daytime temperatures. For this evening, we have a few scattered flurries moving into the area that'll taper off early tomorrow morning and much of the daytime tomorrow is looking dry and mostly cloudy. And then as we go into tomorrow evening, we'll see a few scattered snow showers dropping in from the northwest. That will clear out early Wednesday morning. Then much of the daytime on Wednesday is also looking dry. For tonight, we have low temperatures around 23 degrees in Alpena, 25 in Oscoda, 22 in Atlanta and Mayo. A few scattered flurries and that risk of freezing drizzle, as I mentioned. As we go into tomorrow, a high of 33 degrees. And then we will see mostly cloudy skies throughout the morning and afternoon. Another chance for some snow showers moving in for tomorrow evening. So as we start the morning, 23 degrees cloudy, just a chance of some possible mist, but that would reduce visibilities out on the roads. Mostly cloudy in the afternoon with highs in the lower 30s. A chance of some snow showers moving in tomorrow evening. By that point, temperatures around 30. After the cold front passes through, we'll see morning temperatures around 18 on Wednesday. Highs around 20 with a chance of flurries only early and then dry for much of the day. Take a look at the early morning low for Thursday around 3 degrees, but highs will get into the mid 20s as we go into Thursday afternoon. We'll see a chance of flurries or some possible light snow showers late in the day on Thursday, a high of 22 on Friday with mostly cloudy skies. And then we've got some much colder air moving in this weekend. 14 on Saturday with the possibility of some snow. That's a storm system to our south. We'll have to see how far north that gets. 